Hello. Hi. <laughs> Is that a real mullet? <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I kept growing it since uh, season one when I talked to hey, you last because I love the show so much. Hey, for commitment, bro. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's been years since I had hair that long. <laughs> it's been never, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to tell you two, congratulations on this. And Amanda, I wanted to start with you because your mother, the necromancer, we learned a lot about her in season one, a very gruesome birth. So what can the fans expect from her in season two? Mm. They can expect a different, more closed off, more controlling mother, I think. Um, more, um, how do you say, in, in lack of my eyes and in lack of being a weapon, I have to trust my surroundings and play the game, you know, and which is a a fearful thing to let go into, I think, for mother. Yeah. And, All right, uh, so I'm going to do this right now because I, I butchered it last time. Abu Bakr Salam. Yes. Did I get it right? <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Awesome. So Abu Bakr, so you yes. play father. This guy, he keeps, he keeps, uh, you know, he, you know, he takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Mm. So what can we expect from father in season two? Oh man, he's he's still going, man. And I think like he's he's coming into his element now in season two. And I feel like he's becoming a lot more, I I would say he's he's becoming a lot more daring and a lot more confident in regards to exploring what it means to be an individual and to be um to be him. And I think that's what's really exciting about this season and, and where he goes in that in that in that regard. And yeah, there's a lot of twists and turns and, and <laughs> areas where as an audience member as well, and even as an actor, actually, I was thinking, oh, my Lord, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> you know, think, think twice about this. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. Well, Amanda, I have to know, like I said, I was talking about that gruesome birth. So there's a lot of android blood goo in that scene. So what is it? And I was trying to think maybe you request, can I have like sweet frosting as the ingredient? Mm, I'm like a no sugar type. So it was coconut milk, coconut cream with water. So we started out with Nivea, you know, the, the, the real body lotion. Yeah, but that doesn't taste so well. So we've been through a various um, amount of white blood um, versions, but we ended up with uh, coconut milk, which is safe to try at home if anyone <laughs> wants to give it a go. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to uh, yeah, recreate it at home now that you've talked about it. When is the next time I talk to you if you don't have a little bit of cooking? A little bit of blood mix, exactly. That's the next <laughs> one, mate. <laughs> well, Abu Bakr, I was wondering, you know, season one, you guys have like, you know, the skin tight outfits. So for mm. you coming into season two, like, are you more comfortable knowing that you went through all of season one? Or how is season two putting that thing on? I mean, it's it's not changed at all. I think like the, it's it's one of those things where I was really, really hoping that maybe we'd have a costume change in season two because everyone has a costume change, by the way. So mm. um, so we were hoping, oh, maybe we're lucky to, but nope, that's not the case. Um, but the difference is though this time around is that we're wearing a um a wetsuit underneath the latex suit this time, uh, which again just adds another layer of complexity to it all but um but again it's 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 a blessing and a curse right in the sense that i think the the the, the curse of it all is the fact that it is a latex suit and you can smell latex 24 7 but the blessing is that it helps so much with keeping the character upright and having you move and perform in a certain way that it just aids and helps the performance in so many ways that you wouldn't naturally do if I was wearing like a jumper and jeans, for example. But I would love to see what you chose if you came into like, if you opened the door to a room with all clothes in the world. Right. 
all well, centuries. Well, like well, what would, would what would father choose? A white dressing gown. Like a tank top and a cool denim jacket. Like on a, no way. <laughs> <laughs> like a dressing gown or like a kimono. Like a kimono. I'd wear a kimono. <laughs> Well, congratulations on season two. I've seen a few episodes. I can't wait to finish it. And I look forward to talking to you both in season three. And maybe oh. we'll get that kimono, Ababaka. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. You too.